TCAP, 7th grade practice test, math section, question number 67. Now, um, this question is really easy if you have your calculator. If not, it might be a little bit more complicated. We'll do both ways. Um, what is the value of the expression shown below? If you're using the TI-30X, you probably are going to have to do the old uh, ABC button. So I'll just type in 1, ABC, 1, ABC, 2. So on my calculator, which I'm using the TI-30X, TI I'm doing 1, and it looks like this plus four and a half, so you do plus four ABC one ABC two and then you hit the divide button of course so mine says slash three ABC eight and I hit enter and it gives me thirteen U one half. The U shows you that it's a unit, so it's 13 whole numbers. So 13 and one half. So your answer choice should be C. That's if you have a calculator. What happens if you don't have a calculator? What happens if you have to convert some stuff? Sometimes you have like a T83. You don't have the luxury of being able to press the fraction button. In that case, we're going to have to convert that one and a half around a little bit. So to make the one and a half into an improper fraction, all you do is uh, the 1 would mean I have a whole 2 over 2, so I'm going to do 2 times 1 plus 1. So I have 3 over 2 because I have a 2 over 2 and a 1 over 2. I'm going to add those together and get 3 over 2, just like I did here. Now for 4 and a half, that means I have 2 over 2, 2 over 2, 2 over 2, 2 over 2, and then a 1 over 2, because this would be 1, 2, 3, 4 of these. You'd add them all up, 2, 4, 6, 8, 9, 9 over 2. Or you can do it the faster way. You do 2 times 4 plus 1, so times plus, you get 9 over 2. And then for 3 eighths, you're ready to go. So let's talk about the order of operations for a second. Once I have it in this form. The order of operations states that division comes before addition, so you don't add 3 over 2 to 9 over 2. Instead, we're going to do the division, which requires you to keep the first fraction, flip the second fraction, and then switch the sign to multiply. So I do 9 times 8, and I get 72. And then I have 3 times 2, which is 6. So that part becomes 72 over 6. I'm going to add that to 3 over 2, but I can't use 3 over 2 in the place that it is because I need to have a common denominator of 6. So I'm going to change the denominator of 2 to 6. In order to do that in a group situation, I do 2 times 3. If I do it on the top, got to do it on uh, do it on the bottom, got to do it on the top. 3 times 3 is 9, so instead of multiplying by 3 halves, I'm going to do 9 over 6. Now, I just keep the denominator here, so I have 6, 72 plus 9, is of course 70, 81, sorry. Then I'm going to do a little bit of division work here. If I divide 81 by 6, I end up with 13, and uh, I'll end up with 3 left over, 3 6. Reducing that fraction would give me 13 and 1 half. So I'd still get the same answer. If you didn't have a calculator, you can still do it, blah, blah, blah. But uh, if you do, just type it in. Or maybe you had a calculator, but you have to put this kind of stuff in parentheses first because you can't do one and a half or it's not easy so either way hopefully you got something out of the little additional part and if you didn't at least you could zone out for a minute